One Australian citizen was among those killed in that attack. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says his government wants answers. I expect full accountability for the deaths of aid workers, uh, which is completely unacceptable. Uh, aid workers and those doing humanitarian work and indeed all innocent civilians need to be provided with protection. Australia has had a very clear position of supporting a sustainable ceasefire, of calling for it for some period of time. Uh, we certainly have already contacted uh, the Israeli government directly. Uh, we are contacting the Israeli ambassador uh, to uh, ask uh, for uh, accountability here. Uh, the truth is that, that this is beyond, uh, beyond any reasonable circumstance that someone going about providing aid and humanitarian assistance uh, should lose their life. Joining us now on Al Jazeera is Maureen Farouki, who's deputy leader of the Australian Greens and a senator for New South Wales. She's joining us from Sydney. Very good to have you with us, Ms Farouki. What do you make of this incident and how would you like to see the Australian government respond? Uh, good to be with you. I mean, Israel is committing war crime after war crime in broad daylight and is getting away with it. We know that aid workers and civilians are protected under law, yet nearly 200 humanitarian workers have been killed over the past few months. More than 30,000 Palestinians have been massacred by Israel. And now, Zumi, who is an Australian aid worker, like other aid workers who are putting their lives on the line to feed the children that are being starved by Israel, are being killed. This is completely heartbreaking and devastating. No one, literally no one and nowhere, is safe in Gaza mm -hmm. under Israel's genocidal attacks. Um, and yet, and yet we have seen Western governments call Israel a friend, and we have seen Western governments continue on business as usual with Israel while these war crimes and war atrocities mm. are going ahead. So Is it's it not enough for the prime minister to say that we are demanding accountability? Of course, that's the bare minimum. But the Australian government still uses terms like human tragedy and humanitarian catastrophe as if this is happening in a vacuum, as if Israel isn't attacking and murdering these people. I think these weasel words have to end. Australia has to take strong and concrete action. What specific actions precisely would you like to see the Australian government take? As you said, the prime minister has demanded accountability. What should accountability look like and what specific actions would you like to see your government take? Well, as a start, a permanent ceasefire. Again, no weasel words, a permanent ceasefire. And Australia should back South Africa's case in the International Court of Justice. Um, Australia should put sanctions on Prime Minister Netanyahu and his war cabinet. These are things that we do when other war crimes happen. Um, and Australia should stop all arms trade with Israel. Hmm. Arms trade, on the arms trade with Israel. Uh, the, the Australian uh, Deputy uh, Prime Minister said that uh, these armed trade insists that there were no exports of weapons from Australia to Israel and that they haven't been for, for many years. Are these armed trades still going on? Because the government seems to be denying this. Well, between 2016 and 2023, the Australian government approved more than 300 export permits to Israel for military and dual use equipment. And that's on, like, we know that $15.5 million worth of uh, that uh, arms and ammunitions were traded uh, between those years. And that's on the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade's website. Yeah. Also, it is beyond any doubt that uh, components of F-35 fighter jets are being manufactured in Australia. So I think, again, using um, words to describe arms trades as something else is just, it's just immoral by the Australian government mm. to do that. So if, if the Australian the, government, the, as you say, is manufacturing components of some of the weapons that are being used in Gaza right now, do you believe Australia is complicit in the ongoing genocide in Gaza? Absolutely. The Australian government is complicit in the ongoing genocide. Um, in Gaza, and that's why they have to take strong action, not just talk about accountability, but actually act. 
to get that accountability from Israel. And acting does mean putting sanctions on Israel. It does mean ending military trade to Israel. It does mean actually forcing Israel to open up the channels so that, um, you know, the roadblocks so that aid can get into uh, every corner of Gaza. Marine Farouki, thank you very much for speaking to us and sharing your views. Marine Farouki is Deputy Leader of Australia's Greens and a Senator for New South Wales. We appreciate your time on Al Jazeera. Thank you for having me.